Good morning. Welcome back everyone. Just about 14 minutes before seven outside right now, 63 degrees. Well, just about three weeks ago, I woke up on a Thursday morning at horrible chest pain, dizzy, nauseated and sweaty, and I ended up collapsing. When I got to the ER, my heart was beating at a rate of more than 200 beats per minute. Drugs failed to slow it down, so the doctors had to perform what's called a cardioversion. They basically had to shock my heart back into rhythm. It turns out I have a heart condition called Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, also known as WPW. And Dr. Kristen Andreessen is one of my cardiologists, and she is joining us on this Medical Monday to explain what WPW is. Good morning, Dr. Andreessen. Good morning. Thank it's, you for having me. It's nice to see you under better circumstances. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Thank you for letting us uh, talk today. No problem. Can you just explain, you're our expert, explain what WPW is? Well, WPW is a syndrome that's part of a family of disorders or arrhythmias of the heart that where the upper chambers of the heart conduct to the lower chambers of the heart via another pathway, and that can lead to an abnormal fast rhythm that you had. Like you said, your heart was beating up 200 beats per minute. And this is something that I was born with, but yet up until now, it's never really bothered me. Yeah, you've had this conduction disorder, this accessory pathway that they call it, but it doesn't always manifest itself in an abnormal heart rhythm. And it can come on at any time, any age, and at times we're not able to predict who it's going to happen to. And only those who are symptomatic are treated. Mm -hmm. What are the different symptoms? Because I know they vary from patient to patient. Well, exactly like you said, Amy, uh, palpitations or a fluttering in the chest. Sometimes people feel abnormal pulsations in their neck. Chest discomfort, shortness of breath, dizziness, uh, collapse, even completely passing out. Mm -hmm. And as you said, some people, though, they might just feel a little dizzy when they're exercising. Other people, like myself, it can be kind of dangerous. Yes, yeah, WPW in particular is concerning. Again, it's part of a family of disorders uh, or abnormal rhythms of the heart, but WPW in particular can be life-threatening. Why don't you explain how um, Gunderson will be treating WPW, at least in my case? WPW, with your case, as you're pregnant right now, and so we'll be treating <laughs> it with medication until you have the baby. And then um, after that, we'll treat it with a procedure called an electrophysiologic study where they go in and they'll find where that abnormal pathway is and burn it out. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be cured, so to speak. For the most part, um, the majority of patients are cured by that procedure. Sometimes other pathways can crop up once the original pathway is burned out. So, um, and, you know, symptoms usually let us know who that's going to be happening to. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that I'll be okay yes. here in about Again, four or five months. Most people, <laughs> right, most people are cured with the, with the original procedure. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been telling people kind of about what happened to me, and uh, some people even here at work have said, boy, that's happened to me before. If someone's at home and they've said, gosh, you know, sometimes weird things happen with my chest, what do they do? Do they call and make yeah. an appointment? Do they bring it up at their next physical? How should they, you know, get a little bit more information? Well, like I said, these abnormal rhythms are fairly common. WPW itself is quite rare, but the abnormal rhythms are fairly common. If anything is sustained, they ought to seek medical treatment right away. But if the arrhythmia or the palpitations are transient, they should speak with their provider as soon as they can, depending on how symptomatic they are. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for shedding a little bit more light on it. Uh, I, I feel very confident in your care, and um, we're going to be talking a lot about this on Daybreak over the next couple of months until I have the ablation. But thanks for shedding a little Wonderful. bit more light. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Bye -bye. no problem.